hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see basics of animated position in flutter so for that i have a stack here and a position widget as a demo app here so as you can see we use position widgets in stack so for that first we'll declare a bool variable let's say a play so that we can use it for our animation like this and for in our stack let's just create a container oh let's just create a container with let's say a height of 100 and also a width of 100 and we'll give it a color of colors dot red like this and we'll give it a child of center with a text which is text let's say we'll give it a text of top like this okay uh, we'll give it a style and of a text style we'll give it a color of colors dot white and we'll also give it a let's say font weight font size and we'll now save our app so as you can see our stack container in our stack let's wrap it with a center so that we can see our container in the center in our stack so like this let's save our app and now what we can do is we'll wrap our widget with animated position instead of just position so like this so what you can see now is animated position the curve and duration arguments must not be null so let's just first give the value to curves let's say curves dot let's say like this curves dot uh, let's give it a value of let's say is in out okay and we will also give a value to our duration of let's say duration of let's say 1200 milliseconds okay now let's save our app so in this way our position animated position widget is ready we'll create few more widgets like this in our stack so that we can use it for our animation so let's just change the title to let's say mid and we'll also change the color of our container so that we can see it properly like this and let's say we'll give it a different duration let's say 200 milliseconds now let's just save our app again and you can see the mid our next level stack widget in our stack so let's take few more widgets like this uh, let's say we'll change the duration to let's say 200 milliseconds or let's say 2000 milliseconds and we'll call it a stack and we'll also change the color of our, our container to let's say teal okay in this way so you can see our top level stack widget so let's just create one more for our reference uh, let's just say we can call it a bottom and we'll also change its color and duration value like this okay so now let's change the duration to let's say 500 milliseconds now let's just we'll give it a different curve so that we can see it in our animation let's give it a let's say slow slow middle yeah right this and let's save our app again okay so like this and for now toggling our animation what we can do is we we'll, can declare a floating action button like this floating action button and in our floating action button for the on press value let's before that we'll just give it a child of icon let's say child and icon and icon start let's say play arrow okay and in the on press you can write set state and we can toggle the value of our play bool variable like this okay so let's save our app and now you can see when you press our floating action button our bool variable is toggle but we just cannot see the animations yet like this so for that 
the animated position has different values such as left right height and width so let's change the properties let's give it a height so if the play is true we'll give it a height of let's say 100 because the container of our height is 100 else the height is zero like this let's save our app again and we'll give a different values let's say give a left and right value of zero so that our position of our widget will be in the center and what else we can do let's say we give it a bottom value so that the animation will start from the bottom so in the start let's say the value of our variable is true then it's 100 else it's zero let's hot reload our app and now you can see one of our widget will get animated see like this so we'll give it a position from the bottom so what we can do to make it in the center we'll write media query like this dot of context and dot size dot height divide by two like this this will align our widget in the center of with respect to our device's height so let's just copy these arguments and let's say we'll paste in our different containers and we'll just change these values in our container so what we can do is let's say we'll just remove this value and we can also give it a value of let's say width or what you can do yes width and let's say we'll give it a value of width 100 so now as you can see we got errors because in animated position only two out of three horizontal values should be given and the third must be null so for that what you can do is we can simply comment one of the values which is left or right uh, we'll just comment the value uh, let's comment the right value and now you can see our widget so now we'll just simply give these variables let's check our animation okay so as you can see the two of the animated positions are being toggled so let's give the value of these values to our remaining animated position widgets so what you can do is let's say we'll give it a height and width mm -hmm. we'll change it to let's say we'll height no no this is for the height we need to for the width so let's just remove it and we'll give this value to our width here like this okay so now let's save our app again and now you can see the position of our width is in the center with respect to its width okay so now what you can do is uh, let's give the remaining values to our remaining widgets so here you can simply paste wait we'll just copy the values and we can paste in our next animated positions in our stack so let's just paste it and we can give it a different let's say we'll give it a bottom different values or we can just simply paste it and we can see the animation because we have given different durations we can see the animations clearly so let's just paste to our last stack also and now as you can see the as the value is false at first we won't be see any widgets and when we toggle it we can see the animations with respect to its position in our stack so this is how you can use animated position in flutter so let's see this again the animation looks like this give it a try try yourself using animated position in flutter 
and hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next time